Wilmar Golden renounce his British citizenship if necessary. That is the hot topic. Ladies and but gentlemen. This is one you know, I represent for Dave Rose TV. This one is a bombshell. Check it out. Yeah, greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the Rastaman channel. You know it's your favorite Jamaican. I'm Rastafari soldier here of Deep Roots TV. On Saturday, Golden, that is Mark Golden, the opposition leader of the PMP, stated on X that he's a born Jamaican with Jamaican passport, but supporters are still questioning if he is denying or confirming whether he is still holding a British citizenship. The Jamaican constitution allow a person who holds a commonwealth citizenship to serve in the parliament. But ladies and gentlemen, I want enough to make me know, do you think that a person with another citizenship and obligation to another country should be the country's leader? We not talk about the parliamentary or some kind of representative of a parish as the kerfuckle continues surrounding the status of the British citizens, opposition leader and People's National Party PNP President Mark Golden is maintaining that he remain compliant with the law of Jamaica. I am compliant with the constitution and law of Jamaica and I undertaken to the people of the Jamaican public I will continue to be so, Golden declared his response on Monday come after Prime Minister Andrew Holden said that any individual who aspires to lead Jamaica should not hold any other citizenship. I and I man agree with this. Now, I am not saying that members of the parliament cannot have dual citizenship, but when you are the leader a free Jamaica, you should have no other loyalty or hold no other loyalty. Let me know in the comment if you agree. Following this statement, the Gleaner story is which he was quoting Golden as saying that he hold the British citizenship, citizenship by dissenting and he will not renounce it because there is no legal need for him to do so. On Saturday, Golden stated on X that he is a born Jamaican with a Jamaican passport, but stopped short of explicitly denying or confirming whether he still hold British citizenship. Now you hear me, I have no problem with a person having dual citizenship in the parliament, but if you want to be the leader, the head, you better know say you know if you have no other partner in bed other than the Jamaican population. The Jamaican constitution do allow persons who hold commonwealth citizenship to serve in the parliament. And at deso it fist here. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment if you agree with I and I, or if you think that people of other nationality or other citizens should be the Prime Minister of Free Jamaica, I and I man agree with Mr. Holness that if you want to leave the Jamaican people, you should renounce your other criterion, your other relationship. You cannot cheat upon Jamaican with England and more life. Leave your comment, ladies and gentlemen. But as I said, this is a hot topic in the election era because Andrew Holness obviously is a citizen of Jamaica. And because he found out that Golden Bracker Master is still loyal to him father's home, him using it as a defense or a tactic to purge the infiltrators because since Jamaica was founded we have been infiltrated with manly and busty boy T because what I found out that they both had the same grandmother we had two opposition parties with two first cousins 
ruling Jamaica and they were both from England. So if we are deciding to remove ourselves from the colonial footstool of King Charles, we have to make sure that we have loyal men and women that loyalty is resoundingly number one to Jamaica. And the people them should at least demand this of their leader or their prime minister. So I and I man agree that Mr. Golden Mark Golden should show the Jamaican people that he is willing to be you know loyal to the people and not have a side chick in the British Commonwealth because he's talking a lot of strong and positive you know statement about leaving the Commonwealth but we have to set up structures immediately to make sure that we have a clear sense that Jamaica is for Jamaicans ruled by Jamaicans run by Jamaicans and I don't understand what would be the problem so leave the comment ladies and gentlemen as Mark Golden and Prime Minister Andrew Holness joust on the topic of loyalty honor on the duality of citizenship that Mark Golden currently hold because he says that he has due citizenship one of British Commonwealth through his father so I and I man still always question how come we always have these you know first generation you know broker master or former slave owner or former colonialistic mentality ruling our so-called free minded Jamaicans ladies and gentlemen leave your comment I'm Rastafari soldier here on Deep Roots TV Mark Golden is in a uncompromising position because the current prime minister has got him in a death hole demanding that he show his loyalty by honoring Jamaica over England subscribe to the Rastaman channel leave your comment ladies and gentlemen build up the Rastaman panel a more life and a more joy yeah of course a more in happiness yeah Yes, I you don't know. I and I some culture big enough. Deep Roots TV. Big up Deep Roots TV. Shout out Deep Roots TV.